people of Mr. Darkmare had. I'm in Minecraft Beta 1.7. Yay! Well, well, actually, it's 1.7.1. .1. And anyways, uh, this is a very small update. Uh, not a not a lot because Notch wanted to release the pistons at least before he took several several well not several months but a long time to work on the adventure update. So he was nice to give us an early update with the pi with just the pistons pretty much. It also has these things. These are shears. Um, they're made from two iron shears made like that. Now. Uh, some things with sheep especially have changed. Um, now you need to right click sheep with shears to get wool from them and it won't actually hurt them as well. Now if you punch them you don't do anything but hurt them and hurt their feelings. Yay for sheep. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it actually for the update but uh, other than pistons which I'm gonna show you how to craft real quick. So it's uh, a bit different from the piston mod because this recipe actually makes sense. Uh, this is a piston, and finally a use for slime balls. Yay! Now you can craft sticky pistons with them, and uh, those obviously stick to other blocks. These ones look a lot more Minecrafty, and, you're, and I bet you're wondering what this is here. This is actually a piston gate, and it's just a nice little thing to do together. Redstone is kind of complicated on it. It, there's a lot of conflict with redstone, so it's kind of difficult to get it to work properly. But I'm going to build a, like a castle back here or something. And this is going to be my epic gate entrance. Made of pistons. I bet you wonder how you open it from this side. Like that. Pistons are pretty simple to use. But yeah, with the shears you can also pick up uh, leaves. If you just hit leaves with the shears, you can pick up leaves. What kind of stinks about this is the, is now it makes it to make a bed you need to get wool and well you know you needed to get wool before but now to get wool you need iron so you can't just go punch a sheep and get a bed right at the get go of the game now you actually need to put some effort into getting it since you need iron but still it's not that bad it's not it's not absolutely horrible it's just iron that you need just to it's kind of annoying since now you can't just go up punch a sheep and take the wool, now you actually need a tool for it, but whatever. So this is a neat gate, I like it. Has a reset system to close it back here. Basically it flips it around, powers it, turns off this inverter, and it opens all the pistons. Then this goes around and turns the block back on. It uses a similar timing mechanism to my minecart system. So, yes, that's pretty much it for 1.7, it's not a lot. And, uh, yeah, I left a hole in the middle for two reasons. One, I couldn't figure out how to get a piston that would go down into the middle. And two, that way you can click the button from the other side. Now, of course, if it was night time, you could just seal it up so monsters couldn't get you through this hole. Pretty neat gate though, I like it a lot more than regular doors. Uh, I like the sound effect, I like how they actually have a sound effect. Pretty cool. Yay for pistons, yay for pistons, yay for pistons. Now, you can also set up an auto loop thing with this. And this will make it a loop. So it'll open and close. I don't know what use we would have for this though, but what you can do is stick a lever here instead. I'll open and close. Now you can't get stuck inside of pistons like that. If you try to get pushed up into a block, this is what will happen. In this case, I'm getting pushed up into another piston, but... Motorcycle driving by. Yeah, Loudness. Alright. That's pretty much it for 1.7. Pretty cool update. I like it. There's many other things you can do with pistons, but I'm not going to go too in-depth of it. So I will see you guys later. This has been Mr. Duckbringer, and please subscribe. Have a nice day.
Hello people, I am back. Uh, this is just a little add-on to my 1.7 video. My friend told me there's an odd bug uh, if you try to activate a piston in the way that I'm about to show you. Um, well, first, you place a piston, stick a block on top, then stick a pressure plate. I guess that crashes the game, so we're going to find out. Oh, God. It does. That's an interesting little bug, isn't that? And my mouse is stuck on the game. Oh, that's odd. Well, that's been a li nice little piston glitch right there. Yay! Hello, people. I'm back for another addition to this. For one, don't ever try that uh, piston glitch thing. It's a bad idea, I'm just gonna tell you that now. Um, that will freeze your world, the absolute only way to fix it is to remove the piston and the pressure plate using MC Edit. Don't try it. Unless you have MC Edit and you're stupid. Don't try it. I didn't, I didn't know you couldn't fix it, but just gonna come out and tell you that. Now some other thing I wanna mention. Now, everybody knows if you have redstone like this and you stick a block in between it, it'll disconnect it. Well, kind of interesting thing. Pistons don't disconnect it. The wire runs through the piston. Kind of interesting. Uh, that's probably a bug. Just, just so you know. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. And also, some other stuff is that you can control water with pistons. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. I'm not even going to show you that one. It's pretty straightforward how you do that. And uh, that's just final add-on to this video. That's all I have to say. This has been 1.7.